What's up, guys? My name is Anna Dalton, and I am a writing tutor and academic coach for the Student Success Center. And today I'm going to share with y'all six tips for reading in college. So my first tip is to schedule your time to read. Because there's not typically an actual due date for when you need to get your reading done, it's really easy to procrastinate it and not treat it like an actual assignment. But when you actually have scheduled time, you're more likely to complete the reading as if it were an actual assignment. I also recommend splitting up the time that you read. Um, I typically tend to do 20 minutes of reading and then I take a five minute break and then 20 minutes of reading. Um, that just helps you retain the information better. And my next tip is find the right environment and time. So when you're reading, you want to choose an environment that maximizes your level of focus. For me, I work the best in the morning in a more busy like coffee shop environment. Um, but yeah, just experiment with the time of day and where you're at. Figure out what works best for you. My third tip is to preview. So this is when you're getting into the actual reading. And to gain a broad understanding of the chapter content, you're going to want to read the introduction and conclusion first, because those are typically really good summaries of what the entire chapter is covering. So you read the introduction conclusion first, and then you're going to want to look over the titles, the headings, subtitles, any illustrations or graphs. And if there's an end of chapter summary, that's also really helpful for gaining just a broad understanding of what you're about to read. And then if you want to dive deeper and you actually are committed to reading the for real content, um, I would recommend reading the first sentence of each paragraph. Um, typically, the first sentence is the most um, like the, the best summary of what the entire paragraph is going to cover. So doing those type of previews give you a really solid understanding of just the overall um, like content of the chapter. And this is also helpful for if you start reading and you run out of time and you're not actually able to read the entirety of the chapter, you still get like a basic understanding of what it's about. My fourth tip is to annotate. This is not for everybody. Sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it's distracting. For me, I really enjoy annotating. Um, I go in with a highlighter or a pen and I'll just highlight significant vocabulary and um, significant people and then in the margins I'll write down questions that I have or um, just like thoughts that I have about the content of the chapter and I also sometimes like to do color coordination so I'll have one color for people and then one color for vocabulary so that I can quickly flip through and find um, a word that I'm looking for. My fifth tip is to take notes. Um, this is one of the most popular tips for college reading. Um, you can have a physical or online notebook and don't try and write down every single piece of information that you're reading about. Um, mainly just write down significant vocabulary, people, um, and just kind of repeated themes that you notice throughout the chapter and things that the author seems to be spending a lot of time about. Those are typically the most important things that you're going to want to take note of. And lastly, I would say summarization is a really, really good way of retaining the information. Once you've finished overviewing a chapter or reading an entire chapter, just sit for a second and try and summarize the basics of what you learned. So those are my six tips for reading in college. That's schedule time to read, find the right environment and time, preview, annotate, take notes, and summarize. Hopefully this is helpful for y'all, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day.